Ooh, okay, we're good. Turned around to hit me. Oh, another one dropped as I died. Hey, yo, everyone, welcome back to another Terry 1.4 Summoner Master Mode something something episode. We're back, and today we're gonna take on Enraged Plantera, Golem. Who the hell is that in the back? And also, we're gonna be taking on the Pumpkin Moon first. You know what? Still kind of sucks that we don't have a money trough, even though I took on like 10 Blood Moons. But speak about places where we can store money. Let's go ahead and get to today's sponsor. The year is 2020. We have replaced our giant flip phones with slim and advanced smartphones, but for some reason, we still carry around giant pieces of leather filled with garbage in our pockets. Why carry that around when you can carry the Ridge Wallet? It's light, sleek, and industrial, plus it doesn't have to fold or awkwardly bulge out of your pockets. The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 styles and colors including carbon fiber and my personal favorite, burnt titanium. Each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty thanks to the durable material it's made out of, meaning you could buy one wallet wallet and carry it your whole life. The team behind Ridge Wallets is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. If all of that wasn't enough to win you over, check out the 30,000 plus 5 star reviews. So what are y'all waiting for? Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash raiders and use code raiders. The link will be in the description and comment section below. Back to the video. Alright, here we are. We're about to take on the pumpkin moon and I was going to use an AFK farm to do this but the farm that i looked up the dude had post golem stuff and he had oh god and he had pumpkin moon stuff so it's like bro that doesn't really help out too much i can't really make most of the farm until i do all that but let's get to it let us get to it here and uh hopefully we get some items that i want yo this morning star a lot of people told me it's great but god damn you put sluggish it doesn't even have sluggish what the heck i thought it had sluggish on it so even without sluggish this thing is just slow <laughs> This thing is slow, man. It does good damage, though. It's in the 200s. Like, I can almost solo most enemies just with the morning star. All right, here I am late at night farming for the morning star, and we didn't get it. And we also got a rocket launcher and attack shotgun. Very, very nice. But yeah, we got it. Oh. We got a Tobi too. Do I have one of those? Is this what I need? I don't know. Yeah, let's get to it. Hopefully the enemies aren't loud. I always have some sort of audio problem. It's not even an audio problem. Just some things can get loud every now and then. Like the old one's army. That, that's a super loud event. But hopefully this event isn't too loud, you know, with them always going, ah, like they just took a sip of some Sprite or some shit. But uh, the goal is to obviously get the summon, the Raven Staff, the main thing, and then uh spooky army would be nice and then there's like a, a scroll we gotta get our hands on the necromantic scroll all right boys get in action get in action i'm gonna fight this thing which might be aggro you guys there you go get in action are they doing good i can barely see them down there okay yeah the daggers aren't too bad for this they're digging their digging their damage off it seemed honestly like the same speed as the uh pygmies but let's go ahead let's grab what he dropped Ooh, curse sapling okay drop rate's going crazy so far oh i don't even have my pet on which is something i always do because the pet does get in the way visually yeah hopefully we get enough wood for spooky wood i, I think it's pretty expensive so we're gonna need somewhere in the high hundreds to be able to complete a set oops took some damage right there yeah i guess i'll just do this until i get some stuff that i need i don't know all right we have our first okay well i'm dead never mind <laughs> We got our first pumpkin here. Can you guys attack him? Yeah, attack him. I don't have like my full summon army. It's all good. Honestly, this strap might work. Actually, I don't know. It may, maybe it will. Maybe it will. As long as we just don't get hit. Okay, okay. Well, we're getting hit. Okay, well. Okay, we're just stuck on him. <laughs> Let's just make my way over here. Where the fuck am I even going? I don't even know. But uh, he's got a lot of health, so I don't know how well this will work in terms of killing him. Uh, if I should even use the daggers or not. Yo, this dude's quick. For him to catch up like that, that's no easy means he's quick as hell. But let's see if we can kill him or not we got an extra summon now boom are these even the right summons to go to probably not oh my god of course there's a fucking wyvern why is there no wyvern can they turn off wyvern spawns when you're fighting a boss or doing an event like bro this dude's annoying i've seen this dude a little too many times during boss fights this is like the third boss fight i've seen him in i think because there's a blood moon oh my god i just got back and i'm about to die already <laughs> these fucking wyverns bro i think because yeah there's a blood moon the wyverns keep spawning this is like the third one i've seen to fly over here which is very very nice i just don't get to do the event now because there's this guy hey shout out the wyverns oh shit what's up pumpkin man uh i'm probably dead again here i don't have any health but we understand what's gonna go on here we're just gonna farm oh the event is over well <laughs> there goes all the farming all right so what do we get our hands on 
Oh, sweet. All right, since I don't want to waste my time and fight uh, another one of those events without being more prepared, aka beating the golem, I think it's time we fight in Rage Plant Terror. It's what everyone wants to see. And uh, we're going to use the Sanguine Staff here because I think they have far reach somewhat. Let's see. That's pretty far. I'm all the way zoomed out and it's hitting it. Let's hope that's far. So the goal to fight in Rage Plant Terror here. And key word in this fight that I'm about to do is, you know, just fight. I didn't say I was going to defeat Plant Terror. I got in my way to defeat in Rage Plant Terror. But I was going to fight it. I promised you that. And the main reason why I wanted to do it is because there's a bulb like right next to the surface. So let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Do I even need to buff? Yeah, probably. Buff a little bit. It's either, it's either gonna be like a decent lengthy fight with ups and downs or I'm just gonna die in like a second. We'll see. We will see. I'm um, gonna go ahead and get potions that seem important. Yeah, those seem important. And then might as well a summon potion. But let's do it. Let's see how this goes. I fought in Rage Plantera in like modern playthroughs when I'm super overpowered in end game uh, and I need to farm Plantera, but we'll see how it goes this time, okay? Oh God, she's coming real fast. This is bad. <laughs> This is bad already. Okay, go ahead, get her. Don't despawn now. Did she despawn? No, she didn't despawn. I don't. Does she? Does Plantera despawn when enraged? I have no idea. So yeah, these things are gonna hurt. Oh my god, those things get close. I think I should pause the game real quick and then let me look up if she despawns. Okay, I didn't really get a sure answer what I looked up. Okay, that's fun. Uh, we'll figure it out though. She actually doesn't hit too hard. She hits hard, but not too hard. I really don't like how the. Whoa, do these things fucking home? Do these home? Those are my home. Uh, I don't know. They got a really weird trajectory. They kind of just, they started coming down and then they like turned around to hit me. Oh, that was a bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I, that was terrible. All right. Well, there you go. I fought Plantera. <laughs> I promised it. There you go. I fought it. That was really stupid. I don't know why I TP'd there. But yeah, Enrage Planter done. Pumpkin Pumpkin Moon somewhat done. Now let's actually make some progress. Let's go fight the golem. You know, make some actual progress in this episode instead of fucking around. We out here. Jungle Temple. Uh, it's pretty high up to the surface. Damn, what the heck? Yeah, let's pop this baby open. I don't have anything to pop it open. Hold up. Watch me forget the key. Nope. Got it right here. Perfect. All right. We in here. Oh, Temple Raider. Like Game Raiders. Get it? No. Okay. But we're inside. We got a chest that spawned right here. That's actually pretty nice. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's pay attention to uh, traps here. Because we are going to need some traps later on for when we want to farm the uh, pumpkin farm or pumpkin moon. And solar tablet, another great thing. Honestly, we could have got a solar tablet. See, I should have just did the golem before. I had all these people telling me do other things before the golem but i should have just straight up did the golem because i could have got my hands on solar tablets boom deadly sphere staff another minion that attacks from very far away uh don't get hit by these can i break these yet or do i need the uh the pick yeah i need the pick for it we're hoping we get good rng and get the picks off first but how often does that happen rarely but uh let's see can i mine these things oh that only did nine damage oh i can mine these nice i don't know how hard the golem is gonna be and I don't know what summon to use against them. You would think the enchanted blade staff would be good. Or what the hell is this thing called? Blade staff. I don't know why I put enchanted in front of it. But you'd think the blade staff would be good just because uh, it seems like the golem will have high defense. But I don't know. I, I gotta look into it. Because maybe it's a completely different weapon that would be good for him. A completely different summon. Maybe even the pygmy staff would be great. Maybe even the tiger staff. Honestly. I feel like the tiger staff could low-key do some work. Uh, just because... It's a, the golem is fairly a single target boss. At least you can just focus the uh, tiger staff on something and uh, have it attack that single target. Yeah, we get multiple chances even if we do lose. And uh, hopefully we don't lose too many times because we get multiple chances. But at the same time, it's a limited amount of chances. And then we got to hope RNG drops the other chances. Just slowly inching my way carefully towards the golem or center of the temple. Uh, I'm hoping that we get a good arena from this. If we get a bad arena, you know, that's that's probably worst case scenario. Bad arena, that's it. That's honestly, just, that's just worst case scenario right there. Because uh, if we have a bad arena, I don't know. I don't know. Can we teleport? Can you still use like the teleporter and cheese them? Isn't that like a cheese you can do? We'll see. We'll see when we get to the middle. We've already killed 50 of these dudes, apparently. Okay, nice. I can have a banner, I guess, in the, the main room. It's taking me so long just to get all the way to the end of this because I'm just taking it nice and carefully. I don't want to I don't want to get myself too injured before we get over here. But uh, it looks like this is it right here. And it looks good. It looks good. It looks like there's going to be a lot of room to fight. Thank God for that. I've seen some very bad uh, Golem Arena generations in uh, multiple playthroughs. And thank God in this playthrough, we got a decent one. It's very square shaped. 
Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot longer, but it's still fine. It's still fine. I, I like it. Now we just got to get rid of all these traps. We might also need a peace candle in here. Uh, we got a couple enemies trying to disturb the peace, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, got it. Oh, God. It. All right. This is the arena we have here. I know. Very, very simple. I looked up an arena. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. That's why I always be looking things up. And uh, I don't know exactly what they buffed on the golem. If they buffed him at all. Because is everything that Relogic says true? Because I remember Red Digit, he was hyping up. He was like, hey, yo, that 1.4 dungeon is about to go hard. And what did they add? Crumbling bricks and very deep pits of water with spikes at the bottom. Uh, that's about all they did to the dungeon. But my boy Red, he was hyping that shit up. <laughs> gotta love the enthusiasm all right let's get to it buff wait who the fuck am i using for this oh shit i accidentally debuffed okay hold on let's use the uh let's try the cat okay let's try the cat i'm just gonna just spawn in the cat a bunch of times and uh let's hope that it gets to it so we're gonna break his hands for obvious reasons um something you don't want to hear somebody ever say to you uh i'm gonna break your hands but we are gonna break his hands oh i gotta remember i can't dash into things I'm here to specifically not dash into things. But yeah, I have high faith in the cat. Uh, let me just summon in the cat a couple more times here to make sure. And every time you do summon the cat, it does its little bounce attack, which is kind of nice. But yeah, let me... Oh, did not mean to do that, but it was a good dodge, right? We're just moving left and right, fighting the golem. This is usually how you do it in the past. And then you just watch out for the fireball. All right, his other hand, other hand. No, 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 the other hand. Well, these motherfuckers are attacking his head already. Come on. The cat does nice damage, man. I don't know why people were dissing the cat so much. But I was told the cat tops off at nine summons. And I think I have eight summons. So that's kind of why we need, like, the, the pygmy stuff. I mean, I could have put on the uh, that other accessory that gives us one minion. But I decided against it. I'm like, you know what? Might as well just stick with the accessory we have because they do work and uh let's go ahead are we getting his hand i can't tell his hand his hand everybody get his hand he's starting to shoot a little bit more lasers at me and uh at this point people in the comments are like, fucking whip game raiders fucking use your whip uh i think i'd rather focus on just moving side to side over and over again as i still get hit so it's like moving side to side is not really working too much is his hand dead all right get him where the hell are these enemies coming from you guys notice that there's enemies spawning in the middle of this fight? I don't know. They're, I don't know if they're supposed to be spawning. This is really bad. Like, I don't have enough room to juke here. <laughs> I feel like it honestly might be the honey that might be screwing me over a little bit. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm still going to try my best here. Did I not turn on heart reach? That could be a problem too. But we're still doing good. Uh, just keep, keep finessing. Moving around and finessing. Ooh, okay, we're good. We're getting close to the end. And this is getting too close. Please drop drop the picks off. Okay, after that anxiety attack, we somehow won the fight. That got really close. I think I need to remove some of this honey. Or at least put it in the middle. Because having it on both sides, that kind of slows me down. It slows a lot of my momentum. But there you go, golem dead. And honestly, it was pretty easy. Even just using the cat. Not even a full damage cat either. That's the thing. Well, what do we get? Please give me the picks off. <gasps> Yo, they updated the sprite. It looks really cool. They gave me the Pixar, so shout out to them. I don't, I don't know who they are. Uh, Re Relogic, shout out to Relogic for giving me a Pixar. But there you go. Now, if I wanted to, I could go like this. Yoink! All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> Do I have nine summon slots? Because look, I got the, I got the fully summoned. Where do you go? Fully summoned cat now or tiger? I always call it a cat. Um, it is a kitty at heart though, so there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I got the fully summoned one with like the golden armor on. Do I have nine summon slots? <laughs> We got four from here, and then we got one naturally, and then we got one from bewitching, six, and then seven from the summoning potion. I, I don't know. <laughs> I thought uh, somebody told me nine summons was what you need to get it fully summoned. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being given wrong information. Who knows? I take back what I said about the Pixar being a guaranteed drop. It's a 25% drop, but can drop with other items. I don't know. Why is it not just guaranteed? Who knows? But yeah, I got all the traps here. I don't even know if I'm going to fight the golem again. Is it really a point for me to fight the golem again? Maybe, possibly. Eh, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll just keep that in there for now. But uh, let me set up this AFK farm now for the pumpkin moon. So then we can actually get some goodies from it. And uh, I guess I'll see you once I do that. All right. So pretty much what the person did in the video was they set up a sort of invincibility frame farming uh, slime statue sort of thing while the event was going on. So they have slime spawning in while you're in honey next to campfire, you know, next to heart lamp, all of that uh, charm of myths, whatever. And pretty much you're just getting hit over and over again. And you have pretty much damn near iframes 
that won't stop and you got all the traps set up around you you got summons and all of that and they're just doing work while you just sit there and chill that's usually how afk farms work so that's what i'm gonna do i just had to transform this area into that okay maybe i should do it in another area but this area felt the easiest because it was nice and flat i don't know we'll see because the dude had lava down too i don't know maybe i'll just skip the lava part and i feel like the lava part is an essential so uh, we'll see what happens all right this is the setup take a good look here let's hope it works i don't know it seems like it's gonna work my iphone seem like you're there i think i don't know my health is barely moving all thanks to mainly the slime banner which is the big piece to this puzzle i don't know if we even need to use these potions or not i'm just gonna just because uh, i guess it makes sense too um, let me actually get on this right side so that i'm near the heart statue well if i have heart reach it shouldn't matter too much but yeah as you can see this will cause some sort of destruction and hopefully get us what we need is it nighttime finally it's nighttime all right now what summon should i do that's the real question i don't know if i should summon the cat just because it's the cat and i might kill the slimes so i don't think i'm gonna i don't know i feel like whatever summon i'd summon in would kill things so maybe the cat is the way to go i don't know look the cat's kind of killing them i'm still getting hit though i'm still getting hit the cat needs to go outside though all right never mind the cat's not going with whatever <laughs> just do the pygmies then because the pygmies the pygmies will flow so they won't be able to do anything but let's hope this works sorry if you can't hear me it's under one of those events where it's damn near impossible to hear me but let's see what happens all right we have our first morning wood here and I don't know if the ballistas are better or not. As you can see, I'm using the uh, Squire armor because it gives me a bunch of defense. And I don't know if the ballistas are the one for this or if I just use the Frost Hydra rod or even the uh, Flame Burst cane. But the ballistas, since we're always taking damage, we have the Ballista Panic always active. So I feel like it's a good thing, right? Okay, I'm noticing something that kind of freaked me out. I started taking a lot of damage. And I don't know why. Like, something hit me and I almost lost all my health in like a second. Uh, I also noticed that somehow I'm grappled to the wall and something knocked me off the wall. Kind of sus. Maybe I pressed something. I don't know. My hands were on my phone, so I don't know how I would have pressed something. But as you can see here, we got the uh, the, the head honcho here. Let's go ahead. Let's get all, all ballistas and everything up here. Look at my health. My health is moving. It's, it's weird. Why is my health moving? It shouldn't be moving. I should be safe, right? I don't know. Where my summons at? Can I get my summons up here and help me do some work? Uh, it's these guys, the pygmies. All right, go do work, pygmies, right there. Throw your little spears at them and kill them. It's still, like, other than that little scare, it seems fine. But I had to bring up the scare because it scared me. I thought I was going to die and then somehow this wasn't going to work. But it's still working. Let's see what he drops. Drop something useful, please. Just this one time, drop something useful. Raven staff, look at that. Wow, we got it on camera. Sweet. That's actually really good. What the heck? Boom, bada, bing. What did that say? Bulky Dark Harvest. So people told me that this, along with the Morning Star, is one of the best whips in the game. And then they told me like 10 other whips are the best whip in the game. But boom, there's the Dark Harvest. I think that's everything besides the uh, Necromantic Scroll or whatever the hell, the Necromantic whatever. And uh, we're good to go. I got also a Legendary Horseman Blade. Very, very nice. So there you go. I think it's daytime now. Let's uh, see what goodies we got our hands on. Okay, you can stop touching me. Uh, most of it's going to go to the void bank, probably. Oh, probably don't walk into everything. But the morning wood is the one that drops the necromantic scroll. God damn, I keep walking into it. So we'll see here. We got this. Rival tree mount. Nice. If we, oh, we did get one right there. Necromantic scroll. Yes, sir. So there you go. That was honestly extremely easy. Uh, just like the Nautilus. Shout out to the person. I'll put their name, video on the screen, all of that. And uh, shout out to them. So let's head home here and let's take a look at our loot. We obviously got the Dark Harvest. We got the Raven Staff. We got some beautiful swords. Are these used for anything? It says material. Oh, okay. So we keep one of those. And uh, let's see what else here. Obviously, I'm not going to need the Candy Corn Rifle, Steak Glock launcher uh jack-o-lantern launcher the this got resprited very nice and we're not gonna need a bunch of this stuff so we can sell it and not gonna need an extra one of those but we got this right here some of the rideable tree mount oh tree mount so this is in the witch room which we did actually get witch rooms too we get the tree man oh yes I love this mount. This mount just looks funny and his face is kind of scary too. He looks funny and his face is scary. He's fast as hell though. I got to give it to him. My boy's got speed. But let's go ahead. Let's take a look into the vault here. We'll just go straight to the vault up here. And we got the witch broom, multiple witch brooms. Of course, the necromantic scroll, the thing we wanted the most. And then we got a bunch of extra stuff in there. And uh, let's peep the witch broom here because I've been told this is also a decent mount too. Uh, probably not as good as the black spot only because you could do the dash thing with the black spot. Maybe you could do the dash thing with this let's see 
okay, I don't have my dash on, so it would be hard to test. Boom! Nope, okay, it's all good. So yeah, let's take the Necromantic Scroll. We're gonna become combining it with the Hercules Beetle, make the Papyrus Scarab sweet. Where the hell do I even put that stuff at? I think I put them in, in the bottom right accessory. Nope, that's not, well, that is bottom right, but that's not where they are. Where the hell are they? Oh, top left then. Boom, no, this one. So we take these, combine these babies together, and we got us the Papyrus Scarab. What do I get rid of? Like at this point in time, what do I get rid of? Somebody was like telling me like, you should get rid of your wings and just use the black spot the whole time. I don't think I can do that, man. I don't think I can get used to just being on a mount all the time, but uh, that is a very bold thing. We can also get rid of this, lose a century, gain a minion. Honestly, might be worth it. And there's also the worm scarf we could always get rid of. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know on that one because I'm kind of lost on that. But let's take a look here at the Dark Harvest. Your summons will focus strike enemies. Strike enemies with dark energy to gain attack speed. Dark energy jumps from enemies hit by summons. Interesting, very, very interesting. I don't have something I can test it out on immediately, but uh, sounds really cool. What else do I even do? This is, a, I feel like this is a lot of progress made in this episode. What else do I even do? Solar Eclipse? Maybe I should do a Solar Eclipse and then just like sit in this box too. I don't know. <laughs> That seems like that wouldn't be too bad of an idea. It depends what Mothron does. Here we are, solely eclipse time. I guess this is how I'm gonna farm. Oh, I need to kill this thing right here. Right there, boys, go get it. Yes, sir. Just drop the deadly spear. Make my life easy. Okay, I guess not. But this is how I'm gonna farm it, I guess. I'm only here for one thing, and that one thing is the deadly spear staff. We'll see if we get it. Hey, if we get lucky, we'll get the deadly, deadly spear staff. Ooh, now that would be hype. We got a couple spears coming in here. Oh god. I'm getting violated right now. Okay, I don't think this strat works. Strat doesn't work. Strat doesn't work. Oh, there we go. We done got it. Deadly spear staff. Oh, sadly, it's not a deadly, deadly spear staff. But I'll take it anyways. Oh, shit. Look at that. Another one dropped as I died. Of course, that's that's some Game Raiders luck right there. Just like the blade staff. All right, so I'm doing one more pumpkin moon here so that I can make the full set of armor, the full set of spooky wood. And then, I don't know. This, that might be it for this episode. We got a lot of progress done. I've been playing for a good couple of hours now. And then I think next episode, we're going to try and do tier three old ones of army. And Duke is probably the way to go, I think. Oh, shit. There's a boss that we haven't fought yet. <laughs> The Empress of Light. I haven't fought her. She's new. She's one of the new bosses from 1.4. Don't know how to fight her. I know she's the way to get the Terror Prisma. You have to like fight her in the day and not get hit. Something like that. We'll figure that out soon. I think Duke is still on the list though for things we need to get rid of and get the summon. So uh, we'll focus on that next episode. I don't know. You guys leave the tips in the comment section. But, but proofread your tips and make sure they're true. All right. Here we are. We are going to craft the spooky armor, which is... How much of an upgrade is this even to the Tiki armor? Because I have no idea. Defense wise, boom, we go down. Okay. But I believe this actually is a damage set. So that means, oh yes, wow. From 85 to 100 flat. That's crazy. But there you go. There's the damage. And then what's the set bonus here? Wow, we might get the same number of minions as the Tiki armor. Okay. I see. Well, what the hell is the Tiki armor set bonus? Increase your max number of minions. Whack whack why do that when we can do this actually no we have one less minion i thought it was gonna have the same but just because of the tiki set bonus giving us one extra minute i feel like that's a cop-out set bonus am i the only one like that's a cop-out instead of doing something cool making minions do something cool or having some cool armor effect it's like here you go you get one more minion like that's a cop-out it's all good that's what we got mods for but yeah this is what it does set bonus increase minion damage by 25 percent yeah thank you everyone for watching again shout out reach wallets for sponsoring this video You're, we're gonna see a couple sponsors for them throughout the next couple of videos so just keep that in mind but yeah see, see you next time become a channel member i love you